Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming an updated MAC makeup collection um, and also a bit of my makeup storage, how I store my products um, because I have slightly built and customized my storage to suit what I needed. Um, someone left a comment on one of my last videos requesting this so I will leave her name in the down bar below. Thank you so much for requesting this. I hope you enjoy seeing what I've got and how I saw it. I hope you guys have a great day. Any requests or comments leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day guys. Bye. Hey guys, so I thought I'd quickly show you what the overview looks like. I have two Alex Ikea five drawer units with a a shelf. This thing here is actually a shelf from a DIY store. I think it was about $40. It's a great alternative to a desktop if it, you don't want to buy the real thing because they are super expensive. I then just have a white floating shelf and mirror and this lamp here um, is from Freedom Furniture. It's copper and it's my favorite thing. Um, the Alex Draw 5 Draw units are quite difficult to get hold of in New Zealand. I think I paid around almost $200 for each but they are amazing for makeup. Let's start quickly with what was on top of my drawers. Um, I keep my MAC Fix Plus spray here. Uh, I've got a few spare ones in my drawers but keep them up there and I've just got this which is just a jar, um, jam jar type thing with all my mascaras in it. Um, there are quite a few different mascaras. If you want to see a review on my favourite ones leave it down below. Um, I have some old brushes which I mainly use for Halloween stuff and then in here I have mostly all MAC brushes so I have all my face ones in the bigger one and then all my eye ones oh look there's a lip pencil put that back in there and all my eye and lip and smaller brushes in this one here and these are from Ikea I got them in the UK I think they're about two or three pounds each um, and same with these ones. I think though you can now get them in Kmart if you're in New Zealand. Um, I also keep my MAC sponge up here. And then also in this drawer here, more hold, acrylic holder I'd say. You can get these from a lot of um, storage places. It's just a sectioned into four an acrylic holder. I keep in here all my brow products. Um, so I have, let's go over this. Quite a few of the MAC brow pencils, I really enjoy this and I've got a few different shades. Um, and then just a few of the brow gels, the tinted one and the clear one. And here I have all my bright or dark lip liners, um, things like MAC Night Moth, MAC Ruby Woo, Vino, Current, Cherry, all those kind of things, I keep them in there. Then I've kind of divided, that one should be in there, this one's into my nudes. So, your spice, your um, strip down, subculture, all those kind of pencils I keep in there and I just keep some accessories in here as well as my lash serum. So my scissors, um, spatulas, tweezers, all the fun stuff in that. If you guys would like me to go through my lip liners in more depth I can do a lip liner collection if you would like. So we're going to start off with the top drawer. This one here is where I store a lot of my single eyeshadows, eyeliners and paint pots. So if you moved you guys to a bit of a better angle, sorry it's a little bit hard, but my tripod isn't tall enough for this. Um, so in here I keep all my paint pots over here, all my gel fluid lines, my single eyeshadows, um, my Pro Longwear eyeshadows as well as press pigments, mineral eyeshadows and some, I think, A cream colour base. Here I just have a few of um, little test pots of pigments as well as some larger pigments as well. And then here's where I keep most of my pigments. I have depotted them into stacks. So these are all my MAC pigments that were either in one of these two sizes and I put them into these just so I can keep them a little bit more compact. These were $5 from a New Zealand store called Plastic Box. Um, and I've got four of those. I've got a pinky one, a neutral and gold, which is my favorite, um, a reds and glitters one, as well as a dark smoky one. So while I've got these out I will show you. So for these things here are just pieces of wood that I have spray painted white and cut to size. It's just normal basic wood like this from a hardware store. So I measured the length of the drawers and how many I needed. Conveniently for me these fit everything perfectly so my stacks slot in there like a glove. 
So that's the same with all my drawers. All the white little bits are things that I've built myself. It is really simple, really easy, and they are all removable. So it's not a permanent solution, which is kind of nice that you can move things around still and change it up. So if you get more in your collection, you can add in more rows or less rows if you get bigger things. So I've got heaps of different types of paint pots in here. I'll grab out some of my most used ones. Um, Painterly, obviously, very popular one, and Soft Ochre. I just got this new one from one of the collections that's just come out. It's a beautiful sort of like champagne pearl shade. And then in this row here, I keep all my fluid lines and my fluid line brow gel cream. So I've got a few different shades um, of that as well as some really nice bright shades to use for liner. In this row here I store all my MAC single eyeshadows. They are mainly extra dimension shadows or dazzle shadows or limited edition shadows. I like to depot most of my MAC shadows so I don't actually have that many singles because I do depot many. Um, but the extra dimensions ones I wouldn't want to depot. It's not worth my risk <laughs> unfortunately. So it does go all the way back unfortunately which you can't actually pull the drawers any further out. So. I'll show you at the very end how much further it goes back. You can see my hand goes all the way back to there. Um, and this one here, as I said before, it's all my things like my mineralized shadows, my prolonged eyeshadows, and pressed pigments. I also have at the front one of the new mineralized eyeshadow packagings and the Studio Eye Gloss from the Cinderella collection. Um, so then in here, like I said, this is the little pigments, um, the little pigments of, uh, testers of MAC pigments. So if you wanted to try something out, you can ask for a small chart sample. And I've got a few of those left over, as well as a few larger pigments that didn't fit in my pigment stack. So I've kept those there. And then my pigment stacks. So let's move on to the next drawer here. Now, this drawer isn't one of my favorite drawers, unfortunately. I haven't got it fully sorted out. Please excuse my hand, it's got my foundation on it. Um, so this is the drawer where I store a lot of my extra eye stuff. Um, so here I have all my MAC quads, um, things like the Riri quads. Let's bend you down a bit. The Riri quads, um, some eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a cream color base palette I've made myself. Some of the MAC concealer palettes. And then I also have lots of the little duos um, and some of the limited edition ones that come in the extra dimension ones or the little trios that they that MAC do occasionally as well. So in here I have all my MAC eyeliners. Um, I just storing them down here in this little container for the moment. It isn't my favorite way to store them but to be honest I don't use pencil eyeliners all that much so I just keep them in there. Um, my MAC lashes I store here as well as a few limited edition MAC palettes and one that broke so it's just sitting there like that but I have a few MAC palettes that don't really fit anywhere else. Um, also with the Toledo one it's just sitting just there. Um, things at the back are just old bits of makeup that I really need to get rid of to be honest but I have also have a few MAC paints in there and a few MAC liquid liners hiding at the back. So this here is the third drawer down. As you can see with the sizes they do get a little bit deeper. Um, so this is great if you want to store things like lipsticks, lip glosses and foundations. They all fit standing up in the bottom three drawers. So this one here is my lip gloss and lipstick drawer nice and full as you can see. So these here are all my MAC lipsticks. I store these all in MAC lipstick boxes that have been cut in half and stuck together. So this holds all of them perfectly and in the right spot so they don't wiggle around and it's really inexpensive. Um, obviously if you've thrown all your boxes away it can be hard to pick up but either asking friends or every time you buy a new lipstick keeping the boxes and it means you can store them perfectly. Um, I do have a MAC lipstick collection on my channel um, but I will be f filming a new one super soon because I have added an extra so 20 to my collection. I think it's around 100 now. Then up here I have all my MAC lip glosses. Um, some MAC 
what are these called? Sheen Supreme Lip Glass Tints. Uh, some paint and polish pencils, it vamplified, so there's a few things there. Then we have some of the MAC Christmas Collection lip glosses here. Um, and some lip mixes which are amazing. These are a few of my MAC mineralized lipsticks and a limited one and these are just some older lipsticks that I've had hanging around for a while now. Now on to the second to last drawer. This drawer isn't super organized either. This is where I keep my palettes. Um, so I'll slide it open for you. Uh, my palettes and my nail polishes. So at the back, these are just all nail polishes. I can go through a nail polish collection at some point. But this is where I keep my MAC palettes. Now I just store them in a perfume box. So I need to figure out some new storage for these because like this you can't see them very well so I don't actually really like this storage. If you guys have any ideas how to store palettes easier let me know. Um, but I have heaps of different types of palettes. I have some Pro Longwear eyeshadow palettes like those. Some of the MAC eyeshadow palettes as well as um, some blush and contour palettes. So those are all just stored in there. So these are all single palettes apart from this one here, which is a double palette from MAC. It opens up like that, and that is a MAC lip palette that I have made myself. So those all just sit in there. And that is basically that drawer. Just nail polishes at the back. Nothing too interesting. Now, the final drawer down here isn't actually makeup. I have my bottom two drawers don't actually store any makeup. Um, they are for extra bits and bobs. So in this one here, I have my wood and my <laughs> saw for building my storage. I have some pens, some pencils, sellotape, and then some camera equipment stuff. Super fun drawer, of course, but that is that one there. Moving over to this drawer unit now, it is a little bit tricky because it is in a corner so I'll hopefully get a good angle for you guys. So this top drawer here is one of my favourite drawers because it's the one I'm most proud of for the way I did the storage. Um, so if I open it up, I'll take those out so you guys can see better. This is what it looks like. So this stores all my MAC powders. Um, I have built these all myself. They are just one long strip of wood with smaller pieces across that divide up the powders and they're just hot glued on so it's actually really simple and easy. You don't need to be amazing at DIY to create this but look how amazing it looks. It stores everything really well and it keeps everything separated which I love. So building this has saved me. I could never find anything that fitted my powders perfectly. I was just struggling and I didn't like them just being chucked in a drawer. So this row here is all my MAC mineralized powders. I have up to here is all just the normal mineralized skin finishes. And then I have two highlighters I made myself by pressing pigments. If you guys want to see a video than that, leave it down in the comments below. Um, and then I have some more of the MAC mineralized skin and finishes and soft and gentle. Stereo Rose and Gold Deposit and I have a spare one back here which doesn't fit. Um, continuing on, these are the new packaging for the mineralized skin finishes. I have Light Scapade, Perfect Topping, Cheeky Bronze, Global Glow and those are all stored there. Going back from these ones here, they are all Studio Fix powders. I have in a range of different shades and another, again another one sitting back there. Now here I have some of the MAC BB creams in the compacts and then it goes into powders again. So I have the Pro Longwear Press Powder, Select Sheer Powder, um, another Select Sheer Press Powder, Studio Care Blend Powder, Studio Sculpt Powder, then I have the Bronzing Powder in Golden, the Bronzing Powder in Golden again, <laughs> and the Bronzing Powder in Matte Bronze. So that is that drawer there. If you guys would like to see how to make one of these, I can make a video if you want and I can show you exactly how to do everything if you would like. So this drawer here has got some more powders, some more bronzers and mainly limited edition packaging as well as my blushes and some larger loose powders. Uh, here's the second drawer down. So it would tilt you down a bit. So 
Along here I have all my MAC blushes that aren't in the palettes. So I mainly have um, mineralized blushes. These don't do pots so they can't go into palettes. So I have things from the holiday collection. But mostly it's just the old packaging of the mineralized blushes. Um, so I store those all there. Again it's the same storage as above with the long piece of wood with all my sections coming off. Unfortunately I made these two holes a little bit too small so the blushes don't fit perfectly in there. Then along here I have some full coverage foundation from MAC um, as well as some limited edition packaging powders. So I have one of the Pedro Lorenco ones, a beauty powder from MAC is Beauty, um, a bronzer from Alluring Aquatics, a bronzer from Wash and Dry Collection, two Cinderella powders and a Wonder Woman powder at the back. Now down in this, this little section here, we'll zoom in a little bit. This is where I store my extra MAC stuff. Um, so I have the MAC Pro Set Invisible Powder. What's this one called? This is the Magically Cool Powders in Truth and Light. And then one of the Mag um, MAC Iridescent Powders in the shade Golden Bronze. They all sit there quite nicely. I have a MAC Loose Mineralized Powder. What was these called again? Sheer Mystery Powders from MAC. Isn't the packaging amazing? I haven't actually used this one yet because I'm trying to keep it nice because it's so pretty. Just like that. I have another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish that is too big to fit up the top. A spare MAC BB Cream and also a MAC Sculpting Cream. So that is what is in that drawer there. Now in this third drawer down is my foundation, skincare and everything like that. So let's open this one up. This one here, this wooden box is actually from a shop called Kmart in New Zealand. It had a glass lid and it was designed for jewellery. As you can see here I took the glass lid off and I store all these foundations in here. Um, it isn't my favourite storage yet but it's what works for me at the moment. Um, I have these little tubs which were from the MAC Holiday Collection. I've turned them over and I'm storing some things in there. So I have the MAC BB Cream, the MAC Light 4C and the MAC Studio Moisture Tint in a few different shades just down there. And here I have the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in several different shades as well. This is MAC Face and Body Foundation. Um, so Mac Studio Waterway, I got a couple from the UK from my grandparents, I just had to have it. Um, Mac Studio Fix, Mac Pro Longwear, a large face and body, another small face and body, two more Studio Fix. This one here is a Match Master and another Pro Longwear foundation. Um, I am a freelance makeup artist, this is why I have so many different foundations and in so many different colours. I never get this dark, <laughs> um, but I do need to have several colours for my kit. Um, here is where I store all my concealers. This is just in a little um, cardboard box that something was delivered in once. So I've kept it for that and I just store them all upside down so I can see the names nice and easily. And this one here I have, you guys can see, three of the select cover up concealers. I store those just upwards in there. My MAC highlighting pens and a studio finish concealer. Then in this one we have some skincare things. We have MAC Studio Moisture Cream, MAC Oil Control Lotion there, and MAC Strobe Cream. We have some skincare bits in here as well. We have a Moisture Infusion, um, Strobe Liquid, um, Cleanse Off Oil, Pro Eye Makeup Remover, Skin Based Primer, and then I have also 24 Hour Eye Base, Blemish Control Gel, Duo Lash Glue, uh, what's one of this? Lip conditioner, fast response eye cream, and a lip primer. And tucked at the back here is some spare MAC bits. So I have a couple of MAC Fix Pluses back here, as well as some empty palette stuff. That is that drawer done. Now, this drawer here is just junk as well as miscellaneous stuff. Stuff to get rid of. I keep my back to max in that drawer as well as just a whole heap of random stuff. This last drawer again is where I keep random stuff. I have hair extensions, some MAC clear bags that I use for when I'm doing my freelance job, some wax strips. 
and lots of great stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed my MAC collection. Most of the makeup I have is MAC, so that's why I have just shown you the MAC stuff. There's a few things that aren't MAC, but to be honest, I don't really use them anymore. Um, if you guys want to see individual collections or anything, leave it down below. I do have a lipstick collection video that I will link in the down bar, as well as an eyeshadow top 10 video, which if you're interested in seeing my whole eyeshadow collection with all my palettes, let me know and I can do that for you. It will take a while, but I'm ready to do it for you guys. Um, also, if you guys are interested in knowing anything else, like brushes or lip liners, leave them in the comments down below and I can get around to that for you. Um, also, there is going to be a tutorial on this look. Not sure whether it will be up first or after this. I do have a slightly different colour on my lips. So this is Viva Glam Gaga 2 I'm wearing and then the video I'm wearing Meh. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave any comments, suggestions, likes down in the down bar and I hope to see you guys soon. Subscribe and like. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!